क्वेश्चन एट से इज दैट थ्री कंजेक्यूटिव इंटीजर्स आर सच दैट वेन दे आर टेकन इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर एंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय टू थ्री एंड फोर रिस्पेक्टिवली दे एड अप टू सेवेंटी फोर फाइंड दीज नंबर्स सो लेट्स ब्रेक डाउन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट केयरफुली we have three consecutive integers that we have to find what do we mean by consecutive integers well consecutive means coming one after the other so for example if you take the integers 4 5 and 6 these are three consecutive integers because they come one after the other so in this case let's start by assuming that the three consecutive integers if the smallest one is x then the next one will be x plus 1 and the third one will be x plus 2 so this is how we can start solving the problem let's assume that the three integers are x x plus 1 and x plus 2 so i'm going to write them like this x x plus 1 and x plus 2 and now the problem statement says when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by 2 3 and 4 respectively so x is multiplied by 2 x plus 1 is multiplied by 3 and x plus 2 is multiplied by 4 and the results that we get if they are added we get 74 so using this information we have to find the numbers now if x is multiplied by 2 we should get 2x if x plus 1 is multiplied by 3 we should get 3 times x plus 1 and if x plus 2 is multiplied by 4 we should get 4 times x plus 2 so basically what we have is 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 plus 4 times x plus 2 this sum should be equal to 74 and this is how we form our equation in x so let's do that now we have 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 plus 4 times x plus 2 this is equal to 74 and now all we need to do is solve this equation so we have 2x then we have 3 times x plus 1 so we can expand this as 3x plus 3 and then we have 4 times x plus 2 so we can expand this as 4x plus 8 and this is equal to 74 now on the left side we have 2x plus 3x plus 4x that will give us a total of 9x and also we have the constant terms 3 and 8 this will add up to 11 so we have 9x plus 11 is equal to 74 now we can take this plus 11 and transpose it to the right side so we will get 9x is equal to 74 minus 11 or 9x is equal to 63 and now finally we can divide both sides of the equation by 9 because we want to get rid of this 9 so we will get x is equal to 63 by 9 and 63 by 9 is equal to 7 so we get x is equal to 7 and that helps us find the three consecutive integers because they are x x plus 1 and x plus 2 so they will be equal to 7 the smallest one then the next one will be 8 and the third one will be 9 so the three consecutive integers we wanted to find are 7 8 and 9 and we can verify that if we multiply 7 by 2 8 by 3 and 9 by 4 and if we add them up we will get 74 so that completes question number 8 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers